Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so bad at intros. My name is Haley if you are new here. <laughs> um, today we're doing my, what I read in June. Um, so I have my TBR cart here with all the books that I read and we're just gonna go through them. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and yeah. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. This is my second time filming this. Second time. This is my second time filming this. Because I was showing the books, I was giving you my ratings. I wasn't even tell you what anything was about. So here we go, let's try this again. So Air of Fire, I gave this four and a half stars. Um, so this is the fourth, third or fourth, if you count the prequel, um, book in the Throne of Glass series. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Rowan has entered the chat. Mm, Rowan, y'all. Um, he was kind of toxic in this book. Did I love him? Yes, I did. Love me some Rowan. Um, the reason why it was only four and a half for me would be, was because the Manon chapters and the Kale and Dorian and all that kind of was annoying me a little bit because I was like, uh, Rowan has entered the chat. I just want to read about Rowan. Like, give me more Rowan. Um, but over and all, very enjoyed it. Um, rooting for Aileen and Rowan. Love them. Then I read The Fear. So this book is about um, this town and a meme goes around and it's um, a picture of their dock. Um, and this is the picture that it describes that went around and it said, what is like the scariest way to die? And so all these people are sharing this meme telling them what they think is the scariest way to die. And then all of a sudden, these people end up dying the way that they posted. Great idea, great premise for a book. Um, I gave it three stars. Um, the idea was great, it was just, really slow and I mean the reason why I gave it three stars was because I did not guess that ending um but really really slow well I'll pick up another book from this author I'm not sure um but yeah the fear good but not great a thousand boy kisses I can't tell you anything about this book because it's it, spoilers um so I did go to this book blind because <laughs> Um, it just says one boy, one girl, a bond is forged in an instant cherished for a decade, a bond that neither time nor distance can break, a bond that will last forever or so they believe. So freaking good. This book had me bawling. It was sad all the way through. I gave this book four stars. Um, the beginning started off, I mean, it was just, this whole book is sad, y'all. It's sad. If you want a good cry, read it. Love this book, four stars. And then I went into Defy Me. Um, it's about time that I finished Shatter Me series because I believe I started this in January, maybe even last year. But I went into Defy Me. Um, love Kenji. Kenji has become my favorite character. Aaron Warner, favorite book boyfriend. Kenji, favorite character. Love Kenji to death. His com com comedic, comedic relief was just chef's kiss um i gave this one four and a half stars the previous book ended on a bomb of information and the first few chapters i was like okay what happened and so i actually had to go back and read like the last two chapters of the previous book because i was so lost all right so then i read the sanatorium um so this is about a newly renovated hotel that was previously a sanatorium um where they housed tuberculosis patients and they kind of experimented on them a little bit and um this book i rated three stars it fell flat it fell really flat um it was slow to start it started picking up towards the middle then it got slow again and then i kind of guessed the plot twist it was underwhelming very very underwhelming i guessed a little bit of it but um yeah so three stars just not the mystery thriller for me. And then I finished the Shatter Me series, round of applause. Um, I went into Imagine Me. Imagine Me, um, I gave four stars. Uh, throughout this whole thing, I was just like, Juliet just cannot catch a break. This better end happy because she just, she is, the, poor girl, poor girl. Um, it did end on a happy note, it ended so cute. Um, 30 pages in, I was like, what is going on? Like, I was so confused, but so good. Um, and then I went into Believe Me. Um, while this novella is really cute and you get to, you know, kind of see them after all of the drama and everything, um, I rated this three stars, or three and a half. Um, it was a great winning, a great way to end, the, a great ending to the series. Why is 
English so difficult for me. Um, but it was really good, really cute, three and a half stars. I really enjoyed it. Then I went into the last things he told me. So this is about a woman whose husband just one day up and disappears. This kid shows up to their house with his note that says protect her and he's, he's missing. They have no idea. So through this whole book, you have her and her stepdaughter trying to find out what happened to her husband. Um, and really good. I, I read this four stars. I did not see where it was going. Like I would think it would go one way and then it would completely go a different way. Um, so really, really good. I really, I highly recommend this book. Um, <clears throat> My pride and joy, my baby. Five stars. This is the first five star read for the for the month for me. Um, this is about Callahan and Alana. If you've read the um, Dreamland Billionaire series, you know that their grandfather leaves a will, and they each have um, something that they have to a task they have to complete before they can get their inheritance. And in this one, he has to sell the summer house um, that his grandfather owned, but Alana is now living there. And his grandfather has gifted the house to her. Um, so, really, really good. It was a really great ending to the series. I love seeing, like, all of the cameos of the previous brothers and everything pop up. It was great. Um, it ended so freaking good. So cute. Loved it. Then I went into my book of the month pick of She Started It. So, this is about these four friends. Just randomly, one day, they get invitations in the mail to be a bridesmaid. And they get invited to a... Um, like a private island in the Bahamas, I believe, for a bachelorette party. Here's the kicker. The bride is a girl that they just thoroughly and atrociously bullied in school. Like, you get to read journal entries from Poppy the bride, and you're just like, they were terrible to this girl. Like, terrible. Um, like, it was awful the way they treated her. Um, I gave this book four and a half stars. Definitely check, check trigger warnings because it does have some themes at the end that it mentions that could be triggering to some. Um, did not see that plot just coming. I thought I had a guess. I thought I had a guess. I did not. I did not. Um, it ends like maybe there could be another one coming. Like maybe it could be a duology. Um, but this is a um, debut novel for um, this C.N. Gilbert. This is a debut novel. Um, so really, really good. I will definitely be checking out, um, her next books that come out. Then I read For the Wolf. So basically, um, this is like a Red Riding Hood retelling with a little bit, like with some themes from Beauty and the Beast. So basically in the kingdom that they live in, um, the firstborn daughter is for the throne and the second one is for the wolf. Cause in these magical woods, like these monsters and stuff, like long time ago came out and, um, just what's the word I'm looking for terrorized the village um so whenever there's a second daughter they just like here you go have this sacrifice um so this is following I forget her name red they call her red Radaris, I believe is but red for short and how she gets sacrificed to the wood but it's not a, it's not a wolf it's a man um, really good. I gave this three stars. Um, what am I going to finish um, the series? Yes. Not right now though. Um, maybe eventually in the future, but I will have to pick this up and reread it in the future just because I don't know. At some parts I like completely zoned out. So that's <laughs> y'all this, I started getting into a reading slump close to the end of the month. I really did. And I believe I might still be in it, which is sad because this is my first ever reading slump. Usually I don't get in reading slumps. So, there's a first for everything. A first for everything. Then, I went into Tell Me Three Things. This is about a girl. She moves, excuse me, she moves to a new town. And then, one day, she gets an email from a random person and was like, I'm going to be your um, go-to person on the ins and outs of the school. And so, they start up this little, like, online friendship, talking back and forth. It's really, really cute. Um, did I guess who it was? Yes, I did. Do I care? No, I do not. Would I reread this? Yes, I would. Um, I rated this four, yeah, four stars. It was so, so cute. I will reread this sometime because I do want to tab it because there were some things I was like, man, I wish I had my tabs. Then I went into Sometimes I Lie. This is about a woman that is in a coma. She was in a car accident. You have no idea. You have no idea what happened to her. And 
the way the book starts, it says, um, my name is Amber Reynolds. There's three things you should know about me. I'm in a coma. My husband doesn't love me anymore. And sometimes I lie. Um, twists and turns that I did not see coming. But I rated this three stars just because it was very slow to get into. Um, I did guess some of the overall plot twists, but there was a lot of twists and turns. There were some parts in this that did not add to the plot. Definitely check trigger warnings because I was like, why is that needed? Why is that needed? It was not needed. It did not add to the plot. It had nothing to do with like anything like, but I mean, overall I did enjoy it, but three stars. Oh, we're on to the second shelf. We're halfway, over halfway through. Rowan, y'all. I love me some Rowan. So then I went into Queen of Shadows. Five, five stars. I can't really tell you anything about like the series books without spoiling the whole series. Um, but five stars. I love Rowan. Um, Adian has grown on, has grown on me. Um, it ended so well. Um, when the characters from Air of Fire, you know, the chapters I was like, don't really... You know, um, they meet. It's great. It's great. Five stars. Five stars. I highly disliked Kale in this book. He enraged me on so many levels. So many freaking levels. Like, my annotations in here was like, you're going to get what's coming to you. Like, grow up. Like, <laughs> I hated Kale in this book. I hated him in that book. Then, my dark Vanessa. Definitely, definitely check your trigger warnings for this book. So this book is about a girl that goes off to a boarding school and when she gets there, her English teacher grooms her and they start an affair. This book was definitely hard to get through because some of the stuff that happened, you were like, especially with the mom and the best friend, it was like, y'all, you could have done more. You could have done more to help her. And, it, and you see how she goes through life thinking nothing is wrong, like, that what happened was not wrong and then it's just it's so good it's so good definitely check your trigger warnings i gave this three stars um like i said i was very much enraged through a lot of it just by some of the supporting characters and how they did her but um yeah so my dark vanessa y'all i did very very well going through my tbr this month as you can tell um then i went into Love her or lose her. So this is part of Tessa Bailey's Hot and Hammered series. I have one more to read on my shelf. It's the Tools of Engagement. I have a feeling Bethany and Wes are going to be my favorite. But this is about Rose and Dominic. Rosie and Dominic. And they have a marriage in danger. Um, and so you're going through this book. She feels like he doesn't love her anymore. But like the little things he does for her, I'm like, I was reading it to my husband. I was like, why can't? take some notes you know what I'm saying um so freaking cute four stars it was a very quick read I did like fix her up more but so freaking cute I'm excited to see Wes and Bethany's story <clears throat> then I went into another one like I said in um or you will see in my tandem read I don't know I'm trying to get through my book of the month picks because I have a lot of them that I have not read yet so I read You're Invited I listened to this on audiobook just I listened to it while I was doing paperwork for work one day I gave it three stars. Um, I probably would not have finished it if it was not for the audiobook. Um, the twists at the end are what made it three stars. Um, because, like, man, this, they masterminded what happened in this. Like, like a lot of this I did not see coming. Definitely check your trigger warnings. It does, hint, it does, like, touch on some topics that might be triggering for some. So just bear that in mind. We are almost done, y'all. We are almost done. And then I did The Empire of Dawn. That's not right. The Empire of Storms and Tower Dawn Tandem Read. Um, let's start with Empire of Storms. Five freaking stars. Love this book. That ending, that like, like I'm ready to read Kingdom of Ash because that ending y'all um I did I am taking a break from this series right now like I'm gonna read Kingdom of Ash in July but I'm just gonna read some books before then because this tandem read was a lot it was a lot so Empire Storms five stars that ending I can see why if you do the tandem read do the tandem read because the ending in Empire Storms you do not want to have to sit through this whole freaking boring book after reading the ending of that if you cannot tell by the tab you can tell which one I enjoyed more <laughs> definitely Empire Storms all right, and then I went into um, Tower, or 
at the same time, not then. But Tower of Dawn, I gave it three and a half stars. It was boring compared to Empire Storms. A lot of the times I found myself like forcing myself to read just so I could get back to Empire Storms. Um, the plot twist and info that we found out in this, I mean, I can see why we needed this book. Um, did we need this much of a book? No. Could we have put in a few chapters in Empire Storms and made it one book? Definitely. Um, but that information that we find out is why I bumped it up a half star or so. Three and a half stars. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I've already moved one stack over like and now. And then I finished this one yesterday, the final gambit. Um, it was a great ending to the the um, Inheritance Games trilogy. Um, loved it. Really, really good. How does she come up with like the puzzles and riddles and stuff? How? Because <laughs> I could not have come up with that. But it was really, really good. I gave it four stars. Um, very good ending to a very good series. See, look, y'all. And then the last book, I'm reading it right now. Today is the 29th. Um, I will definitely be, be finishing this, you know, by the end of tomorrow. So I'm including it in here, which is under the lights. Um, I will put in my like rating, like right here. Um, but I'm currently in the middle of this, so I can't really give you a rating, but, um, this is the second book in the field party novels. So this is about Willa. She can't erase the bad decisions in her past. Um, but she can fight for forgiveness from her family and she can protect herself by not letting anyone get close to her. So we follow her along this. She comes to this high school, the quarterback in town, golden boy, used to be best friends with Willa. She even had a crush on him when they were kids, but that's all changed now. So maybe second chance romance, but I'm in the middle of this and I will put in my like rating right here. But anyway, that is the books that I read. So let's count. We have 20 books. For the month of June. That is the most, I think that is the most I've ever read in a month. Wow, I'm proud of myself. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe. It would make my day. Join my bookish family and I will see you in my next one.